Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to fix this handle on a Flatland 12 ounce driving hammer. First you need to drive out the pins. I just used my center punch to push the brass pins through one side. Tried pulling them out with my pull offs but that didn't work. So you just need a small punch to drive the pins out. gentle taps on the hammerhead and wiggle it back and forth it should come off fairly easily I ordered a new hammer handle from Wellshot it comes with the brass pins while the handle is off I used the wire wheel to give the hammerhead a little bit of a polish and shine when I fit the hammerhead back on the handle the handle shaft was a little bit long I went ahead and filed just a tiny bit off the top of the handle I had to do this a couple times till I felt like it fit in there nice and snug. It was close. This is my last time. Shave a tiny bit off the end there. And now it fits nice and snug. Went ahead and drove the handle into the head. Not super hard, but just enough to seat it well. Then I used a smaller drill bit than the hole. I wanted the copper to fit in there really snug. Make sure your drill bit is straight up and down so it goes all the way through the first hole, the wood, and the second hole. The brass pins are extra long so make sure you have some space on the other side of your hammer handle so that the brass pins can go all the way through. Use my uh, nail cutters to trim the pins to length. I could have trimmed them a tiny bit shorter than what I did here. Then I used the round side of my hammer to drive in the pin to the hammer head on both sides. Once I got them pretty smooth with the hammer head, went ahead and filed the last little bit off. And then took them to my uh, polishing wheel and ground off the last little bit of the copper pen. So it has a nice smooth finish. I forgot to order a magnet for the end of my hammer handle. So I went ahead and cut the magnet off of my own handle and uh, just kind of improvised here. This was the quickest way I thought of maybe getting the magnet out. Chipped off the last little bits of wood. Cleaned out the magnet with the wire wheel to get rid of the glue and the excess wood on it. Putting the magnet in the drill and finishing wire wheel it worked really well. Then ran the magnet over a coarse grinding bout so the glue would stick well to it. I just used uh, some Equilox or EG Shoe Bond. I forgot to film this process on the new hammer, so this is the old hammer. Use a small drill bit first and get it started before you use a quarter inch drill bit. And then I go ahead and auger it out just a tiny bit so you have a little bit of extra room for your glue. I mixed up too much glue here, but we're fine. So I'm using a couple different techniques of uh, just tapping the glue down into the handle. Once I've got it nice and full, I can then go ahead and push my magnet back in and you can see all the glue pushing back up. So I know I have plenty of glue inside the hole. And I don't have it flush with the handle. I have it just a tiny bit proud by maybe a millimeter or so. Wipe off the excess glue, let it dry. And there we go. I have a handy way of being able to pick up nails, new hammer handle. This for sure saved me from having to buy a new one, a fraction of the cost. Everything's back in my trailer, ready for the next work day. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to like and subscribe. That's all for now. Cheerio.